Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. Today we are going to see another Spark RDT uses. We are going to find the minimum temperature from the given data set. We have a data set called 1800.csv where the data uh, of the temperatures, uh, precipitations, maximum temperature, minimum temperature for each uh, weather station ID has been uh, reported on the year 1800. We are going to utilize that data set and we are going to find the minimum uh, temperature uh, from the data set across each station ID throughout the year. In my last video I have uh, already shown you a couple of uh, programming uh, of RDD how to find the uh, use different different transformations and uh, actions on the RDD. So this is also in the continuation of the more spark RDD uh, pro uses. So let's find that. Let me first introduce uh, what my data set looks like. So this is my data set is 1800.csv. So this uh, looks like like this. Here this is the uh, station ID. The uh, date and time on which on which day it the T max is recorded. So this T max is the intra type uh, and basically it is saying this minus 75 is the T max temperature for this station ID. For this station ID we can see there is a T mean also. What is the minimum temperature through what is the minimum te temperature we find found and also the precipitation. So three entry we are going to get for each station ID or not also but we are going to get three entry T max T mean precipitation. We have to find out for each station throughout the year what is the minimum temperature. Okay. I have already written a Spark RDD program in uh, in Eclipse ID. Let me open that. So uh, this is the example you see. I have added a new uh, object, mean temperatures. Okay. Here what I am doing. Here I am uh, first importing the uh, basic packages what we are going to need. Import org.apache.spark underscore then spark context log4j for suppressing unwanted lo uh, unwanted errors and uh, this is scala math.mean because we are going to utilize that particular mean method in order to find uh, find the minimum uh, uh, in order to find the minimum temperature that's why we imported this package so this is our the main object start here then I have created a, a, a user defined function parse line and this is the def man this is the entry point of this particular uh, spark driver program so first thing what we are doing here uh, first we are doing here it's a logger dot get logger dot set set level level uh, dot error here we are setting our whole log level to to show only the error in the console not the other unwanted errors or logs or warnings we, we don't want to see that the very first thing uh, we are doing here is uh, uh, in as usual we have to create a spark context degree time if we want to create an RDD for that I have taken a variable val sc and creating an object of spark context class where I have passed two parameter one is local star another is a min temperature this is nothing but the name this is it's it is going to st uh, tell the spark run this spark context locally and utilize star means utilize all the cores available in the CPU fine then the next line is we are going to get this lines RDD basically it's a raw RDD it's going to contain this the text file I just saw I just shown this this is going this RDD is going to hold this uh, raw informations it's importing the data so this lines is an become an RDD now we are what we are doing we are we are tr we are trying to parse the line uh, we are trying to parse each line because we uh, we are going to mean only to this uh, station ID we, we don't need all the fields we need a station ID this is the entry type and the temperature fine so these are the temperatures so these three fields we require in order to uh, solve our problem so that's why I created a separate uh, user defined function that is called parse line it is taking the line each line in a row you can say each line in a row then it is splitting based upon comma so we are going to get once we split this row on comma we are going to get one field two field three field four field and so on and so forth 
we want a station ID that's why I am taking fields 0 we, we want entry type uh, T max or T mean uh, we have to get this uh, 2 and this temperature uh, we, are, we, uh, we have to find from this fields 3 so this all the temperatures has been recorded in degree centigrade we have to convert uh, we want to show in a, a foreign height so here the conversion is uh, formula is given applied here in order to convert from uh, <coughs> degree cells uh, degree centi degree Celsius to foreign height and finally this uh, function is going to return a tuple containing a station ID entry type and temperature <coughs> so this is going to keep this station ID entry type and the temperature these three fields <coughs> so this is called parsed line having three tuples station ID entry type temperature now what we have to do next thing what we have to do we don't we don't know need all these entry T max precipitation T max precipitation we only have to concentrate on T mean because we have to find the minimum temperature from this given data set we are going to consi consi consider only this T mean entry for that we are going to apply a filter function on our RDD like this pass line dot filter x uh, implies x underscore 2 is equal to equal to T means means the second field is uh, entry type in our tuple so what we are going we are we are trying to filter out uh, who, are, who the entry is related to T mean only x underscore 2 is equal to equal to if entry type is matches to t mean we are going to filter based upon that records and we are going to in this temp entry type we are going to get the only t mean records so we have filtered out all the other steam max and precipitations because we don't need those the next thing now we don't need this uh, in every line we don't need this t mean entry t mean entry we don't know because right now we have the three uh, we have filtered out the t max and <coughs> Uh, T in the precipitation, but in in this entry type uh, <coughs> field, still we have T mean T mean T mean. So for our uh, for our next level of uh, transformation, we don't need this. Why to carry this entry type T mean? We know that all the data inside this as a temp minimum temperature. So for that, I have uh, applied a transformation using map function on our temp entry type. Here, what we are doing to we are going to get this X as a tuples and we are concentrating only on x underscore 1 means station ID x underscore 3 dot float means temperature so this become a tuple of station ID temperature station ID temperature so now we have in this RDD we have all the station IDs with the minimum temperatures uh, for the entry type uh, T mean we have all the temperatures now we have to find out the minimum temperatures from the given set of uh, station ID for the given st for, for each station ID for that what we are do what we are trying to do here we are applying reduce by key transformation here what we are going to do this x comma y is value means it is going to take two values for that for each key means for each station for each station unique station ID it is going to take the two values means two temperatures and it is going it is it is going to return mean of x and y means whatever the temperature uh, the mean temperature finally it is going to give you for that particular station id so this mean temp by station finally is going to contain station id minimum temperature station id minimum temperature throughout the year and in spark you know uh, then unless until you call the action here action is collect you are not going to ca call the action nothing is going to execute in order to fetch the result in the driver program we have to uh, we have to run action on min temp by station dot collect by using this this will this is going to contain our results now what we are going to, what we are doing here based upon this results we are trying to create a uh, user uh, user friendly message uh, user friendly print uh, we are we are printing user friendly statement here so what we are doing here so we are sorting this results results are sorted then we are taking we are apply we are creating for loop so this is going this each iteration is going to hold in the result so result will be holding each line of this sorted rdd then the first one we know is station id so we are going to get a station id the second one is temperature so uh, result underscore uh, result dot underscore 2 will fetch will fetch us the temperature field 
we are doing formatting of the temperature here we want to format up to because here it's a different different format and all those we want to format the temperature up to two decimal place and because this is a foreign foreign height so I want to append I want to append a F symbol so that results look like it's a, a foreign height data not a centigrade data so this is a formatted temperature we have finally and finally we want to print the entire thing like this a station means station ID this is going to replace with sta station ID station ID minimum temperature colon uh, the formatted temperature the minimum temperature for each station ID we are going to print station ID minimum temperature uh, some uh, value in foreign height so for this I have already uh, now we have created all the program written all the program now it's time to create a run configuration build run as run configuration I have already created that see minimum temperatures name I have given spark core our project name and our package name is spark dot core then inside that package we have added this object so this object name so package name dot object name the mean temperatures run oh so finally see we find that uh, minimum temperature of this station ID and of this station ID you you can ask me why we got only two station ID because these two station ID only containing the minimum temperature rest is precipitation and T max for this means uh, uh, T mean temperature T mean entry is only available for for this uh, station ID and this station ID there were th therefore we are getting only uh, minimum temperature for these two station IDs only so we have s we have seen here how to find the minimum temperature from the given set of temperature from the for the each station ID throughout the year <coughs> we, 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 we checked here how to apply filter function in order to apply filter on RDT and we, we applied reduce by key we applied filter finally we collect and we formatted the result in the user friendly uh, manner so that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching have a good day bye